she was really special, and I was just so happy that I got to meet her because we lost her when she was only 45 years of age. I met her in 1950 in my hometown of Wichita, Kansas, which was going to have the uh, uh, Women's Open, and that's where the LPGA uh, was founded. You know, she was an Olympian gold medal winner in track and field, and of course she played basketball too, you know, she was a great basketball player and baseball, I guess, because she hit five home runs. She was strong, and she didn't have the best golf swing, but she, like she'd swing through and kind of fall back sometimes, but boy, she could hit phenomenal drives, and of course the fans just loved to watch her hit that long ball out there. She would hit the ball in those days 240 yards average. She was interesting. She was quick with a quip. I remember one time she'd say, I'm going to, before she hit a ball, she said, I'm going to loosen my girdle and let it fly. And of course, the people just roared because you never knew what to expect from her. And in those days, we wore long skirts down to our calves. And sometimes she'd go leap over like a, a horse over these hedges. But, but she always brought a lot of excitement and everybody enjoyed watching her play. I remember one time, at, it was in 1949, the Women's o Western Open was held at the uh, Skycrest Country Club in Chicago, and uh, she was she and um, was having breakfast with Shirley Spork, and she, Babe said, "Well, Shirley, how come you haven't turned pro?" And Shirley said, "Well, I don't know how to." So Babe got up and put her hand on Shirley's head. "You're a pro," <laughs> she she said. "Now you just go down to the first tee and and enter, enter as a pro." During the World's t Tournament um, in Chicago, I was paired with uh, Babe and, and Patty Berg and on the first tee. And after we walked off the first tee, uh, Babe came over and put her arm around me. And she said, Smitty, she said, I always love playing with you because you always get the gallery. Well, you know, I didn't get the gallery. She did, but she wanted to make me feel at ease. Very interesting thing about her strength of, and a will that a year before she died with had a colostomy, she played a tournament and won them by 12 shots. So you see the, the will and the uh, determination and the love of the game. She had a great passion for the game. And, you know, she passed away in 1956 of cancer, and uh, it was really tough on the LPGA at that time. And Betsy Rawls made a, a good comment one time, you know, Betsy's World Golf Hall of Fame player and a famous player. She said if it hadn't been for a baby, the LPGA probably wouldn't have started. For another 10 years so that's how important babe was to the beginning of our organization how she got us going and uh, and she was loved by everybody that watched her play i think about babe a lot because she was so special and what what she did to help us get off the ground she was just an all-around good athlete and a, and a real good person i think she had a kind heart and uh, i don't think she i never heard her say bad bad thing about anybody and that's very unique